Hey guys, this is Agent Furex, and today I'm doing an origin review from the origin mod of my origin in my origin SMP. That's a lot of origin. Alright. It is called the Dark uh, Whisperer. Sorry, the Deep Whisperer. I'm an outwardly creature from an alternate reality called the Deep Space who long ago came to this reality. Uh, same in the overworld. And um, furthermore, you start off in the overworld, but you will start burning to death, as you'll see. Uh, going into the overworld, uh, you experience you experience the harsh sun. You are not used to the harsh rays of the sun, therefore you burn, and you're not used to the environment, so therefore you get uh, poisoned air in the overworld. So you slowly wither away. So not only you burn, you'll slowly wither away. So even if you put yourself in water, or if it's nighttime, you can't even be in the overworld for such a long time. So the question with this origin, how long can you be in the overworld, and what use of that time you can make it? All right. And when here in my dimension, I'm basically immortal. I don't lose health, really. I don't lose my hunger at all. I don't need to eat. I don't even take fall damage. My race have lived here for such a long time, such as you yeah, have learned to survive and benefit from my own dimension. I can't use certain tools, such as elytra shields or crossbows. Uh, that's not really a much of a problem. I can fly. I don't really need a crossbow. I can use a normal bow. I'm fine with that. Shields, uh, that sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, dark form, I can turn into a uh, mist or smoke, black smoke, and fly around, but it will wither me away over time. But for, uh, fortunately for my dimension, it can help me travel around and I won't die, really, because I regen super quickly. So that's not really much of a problem in my dimension, but in the overworld, uh, if I were to do it where I don't regen as much, um, well, I pretty much will die if I keep using it. So I have to use it in shirt bursts. All right, and I have a deep rift ability, which is the main ability. And pretty much the staple of this origin. Traveling from the overworld to this dimension and this dimension to the overworld. But you have to be aware of coordinates. So if you're if you're starting off in the if your friend is joining you and he's a different origin and he's in the overworld and he established a base and you want to be uh at a spot where you can teleport to his base, he has to give you the coordinates and divide those overworld coordinates by eight, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's how I did it. And I believe that is exactly what I did. So Show off the ability of transporting uh, myself to the overworld. Um, my friend told me his coordinates to his overworld base. I marked it with this block. I basically have to press X. I like to jump just in case I don't get glitched into a block. So I jump and doom. And you can see a purple bar over my hunger bar. That shows the cooldown. It's nighttime, so awesome. If it was uh, daytime, I'd be burning. And obviously, I still take damage um, because of the wither effect because the air is poisonous still. And here's my dark form. As you see, I turn into purple smoke. I can fly around, but I will wither away. So I wither away just for existing here, and I wither away for using this ability. As you can see, I'll teleport myself here so I don't, um, or fly up here so I don't have to deal with any other mobs killing me. Because uh, one of the benefits of your own home dimension, there's no mobs to attack you. You're absolutely a god. No one can bother you, but you're all by yourself. You're a lonely god. So anyways... Um, if you're wondering how I got NPCs there, uh, because you can't bring anyone else with you, unfortunately, to the dimension, which would be cool for a strategic battle, but I'd be too overpowered. Um, I had a friend who you has a different origin that allows um, portals to access to different dimension, and that origin actually takes advantage of the immersive portal mod. See, as you can see, I'm taking just damage. My, no one's killing me. I'm up here by myself, and I'm going to go fly down. And a cool feature, uh, since I'm in the nether, I don't take sun damage at all. I don't even take wither damage, so I'm safe in the nether and the end, I assume. So the air is not poisonous, thank god. So I can fly around, I'm totally safe. I will take fire damage, though, so you gotta be careful. And thankfully, I have the same amount of hearts and hunger as a human. I lose hunger here. That's one downside. So I have to get, constantly get good food all the time. And I have an affinity to tinkering tools, so I took damage as you can see. But I have an ability called my handy worker ability. Basically, I can trade in my souls for a life force, but um, that would instantly kill me. But thankfully, I have an ability called tether. I'm not going to use it now because I'm in the nether. Uh, but you basically push shift and then X. At least that's the button I use, the X button. To uh, basically make a, um, a spawn point in your own dimension. Because you cannot sleep in a bed in that dimension or else things go boom. If you know what I'm saying. So I'll just go ahead and kill myself. And I set my spawn point in my own dimension. Boom. 
And if you want to change a different spawn point, just really find a place you want to sit. I usually, this is my usual spawn point, but I go shift and X and then boom, I'm tethered. That's my ability, tethered. Same my spawn point. So if I die again, I'll spawn here. But keep in mind, uh, going, uh, it's not the same thing as uh, teleporting back from the overworld. You will spawn to a different set of coordinates in this dimension, but not to your tether. That's only for when you die. Anyways, um, like I said, I got all these NPCs from a different origin, so uh, more about that differently. Anyways, after all, there's many biomes that have uh, rich uh, iron and coal, copper across this dimension. Uh, but I do have an upper hand in combat um, in terms of escaping the combat, so it's not really much of an upper hand. I do have game flight in this dimension, which makes traveling so much easier. But it's going to be rough uh, at the first start of the dimension because you have to get torches. If you don't, you're probably going to go aimlessly in the dark for such a long time. As you can see, I have the handy worker. I can exchange my life force to... Uh, oh, and um, obviously, when I go back to this dimension, my health heals back. So that's a one benefit to escape from PvP. Because obviously, you're not going to have a great advantage. But let's heal my pants. It, uh, it doesn't matter the durability. Uh, you always lose four hearts. So no matter the durability, you always lose the four hearts. So I recommend using it for things that are really need of a heal from durability. We're basically like your own mending book. So let me heal my pants. I wish I had a better representation, like a very extremely low durable armor or sword. But basically, all the weapons are will be infinite use if I use them correctly. And furthermore, um, one warning I would say is try not to um, teleport like on this ground level. For some reason, the ground level here is not quite in match with the overworld. So if you teleport from here, if I press the X button, I'll probably be spawning in the ground and probably will die. From suffocation so therefore that's why i had my base built a little bit way more higher up so i can actually uh get into the higher floors so i don't actually really suffocate myself because that's going to be very painful uh thankfully i just put on keep inventory just because everyone's so new with the origins i didn't want to make them like super frustrated and regret their choices i'd rather have them improve their ability first before i turn it off but as you can see i've been scouring around this dimension putting down lights all these lights were placed down by me the only natural source of lights are going to be that lava pit. As you can see, there's a lava pit, uh, which it spawns generally, and there's some patches of water as well. But I just say be really careful of um, where you're going, because if you don't have an, uh, if you don't if you don't tether to the spot you you were originally stationed at, such as your base, uh, you're going to get yourself lost, and then it's going to be really frustrating. So make sure you tether, have torches behind you, make some waypoints, that type of stuff. Or else getting back, you might be having a little bit of trouble with that. And obviously, I do not die from anything. I don't even take fall damage. I didn't even take uh, uh, hearts down from that fall damage. So I'm all set. Uh, this is a perfect place to heal, gather resources, take to the overworld, help give your resources to your friends. But you cannot bring your friends to you with this origin by itself, unfortunately. Like I said, that was with a different mod. But um, let's say if you're lost, you don't know where to go. Well, if you tethered, you should just kill yourself. So, and then you're always back at your base. Very useful ability, I'd say. Alright guys, I think that'll be end for this video. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys next time. Bye!